happening YouTube and Bauer back again I don't even know how long it's been this time maybe a bit sooner than the last one was between videos who knows I'm not gonna go back and look it is a Tuesday evening I'm trying to open a beverage a nice cold refreshing frosty beverage and I dropped the bottle cap Cheers. All right, back again. What's the haps? Got some fucking records to talk about. I don't know about this. Volume. Who knows? You're curious as to where that hollering's coming from. That's what we're listening to right now. Disarm. Discography. Let's see if I can read this. Sofrer Antequando. 26 tracks of crusty deep beat madness out of Spain. Kind of legendary I guess in some circles anyway what am I gonna talk to you about today some fucking records shit as usual um, no tapes this, uh, this evening um, and honestly you know I'm, uh, I'm trying to do some curbing of my spending so I don't have a lot of new shit to talk about I do have two fairly new arrivals um, that I will be talking about tonight. Um, and I'll let you know when we get to them. Otherwise, these are records that I've had for a while, in some cases a long while, and just have never gone over um, since I started the channel. So I thought we'd get into it uh, tonight. You'll probably notice something in common with most of these records. If you don't, that's okay. First record I'm going to talk to you about is Who's the Fool by Misery. The Fool is me! Just kidding. The Fool is Silence. It's on Profane Existence, Skull Releases. Came out in um, 1994. Printed it in her sleeve. Record is not in there, however. Really weird gay fold. Picture's kind of fucked. Seriously, that, that picture kind of makes me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, what to say about misery? Uh, this is one of my favorite, all-time favorite crust records. Um, and, you know, you could actually argue. I think in a lot of cases that uh, the U.S. crust scene kind of started with Misery, assuming you discount like uh, Crucifix, Final Conflict, Christ on Parade, uh, fucking any of those West Coast fucking bands, Final Warning. Definitely all crust elements to those bands, but Misery, one of the first bands in the U.S. to really play a style wholly indebted to bands like Anti-Sect and Amoebics, specifically. Um, in fact, you could argue that a ton of Misery's music hinges on their copying the style of Anti-Sect. Um, Difference being in the vocal department, Misery's vocals are gruff as fuck. Uh, you could argue that you hear some death metal elements in the vocals of Misery. Um, anyway, great band. This album is phenomenal. Uh, like I said, it is my favorite of their records. They are still releasing albums now. I think their last record came out 2013, 2014. 
Um, most of the members, actually all of the members, uh, it's all original members to my knowledge. Um, you know that Todd Misery plays on the last Tau Cross album. Um, who they have a new one coming out pretty soon. She's gonna fucking roll. Uh, and that of course has the Baron from Amoebix on vocals. Great fucking stuff. The next record I want to talk to you about. It's a band that probably would never have occurred were it not for misery. I'm talking about Hellshock from Portland. Great freaking pencil artwork. Just take a look at that. Oh, it's so cool. Love that drawing style. It's got that Sugi sort of style, but it's a little bit more uh, realistic, less uh, like tattoo oriented. Um, this is on Blackwater Records. This came out in 2010. Okay, insert. Now, Hellshock, like Misery, very, very uh, indebted, not just to Misery, also Mavix again, Axe Grinder, Deviate Instinct, um, anti-fucking uh, sect. I almost said anti-Cymax. Anti-sect. And you can tell there for the logo. Straight out of the uh, anti-sex font. Lyric sheet. If you're not familiar with Hellshock, like I said, they are a Portland band. Uh, fucking people in this band have been involved in so many other bands. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, long knife. Problems. Fucking detestation. Um, you know, by fucking default with detestation uh, in common, you've got like defiance, resist. Fucking mass control, all in common with Hellshock. Uh, this shit is atmospheric DB. Probably the best way to describe it. It is heavy, distorted as shit. Super, just rough, pissed off, savage music. Um, you know, again, like the Misery record, you could, uh, you could probably pick out elements of death metal, um, even in some of the uh, guitar playing and flourishes, picking, you'll uh, catch little hints of uh, black metal interspersed here and there in the record. Um, it's fucking fantastic. It is a great album and uh, one that should be listened to by all. Next record I'm going to talk to you about is actually a 7 inch by Kriegs Hog. This is Hardcore Hell EP from 2008. Kriegs Hog are a Japanese hardcore band. And they wear their Japanese influences on their sleeve. Um, totally indebted to the likes of Confuse and Disclose. Specifically discloses early era where they were doing straight up discharge worship. Um, however, Kriegs Hog amp up the distortion. Now, they're not quite as blown out or noisy as a band like D Clone, a total noise accord. Ah, shit. Bumbling. Lyric pulled out. Um, so yeah, not as blown out or as noise indebted as Total Noise Accord or D-Clone. Um, nonetheless, just fucking savage, barbaric, DB, little to no melody to be found in this EP. Um, it's fucking phenomenal. They have another EP uh, where they appear by themselves. I want to say two splits, one with 
Dog Soldier and the other with a band I can't think of. And then they have a full length. Uh, it was out in like 2010. Um, fantastic stuff. This is actually a repress of the Hardcore Hell album. It's got a bonus track, Battlefield, originally performed by Iconoclast. Another great fucking crust band. It should not be overlooked. Time for a drink. That hits the spot. I should be getting a paycheck from Peddler Brewing. Excellent, excellent IPA. Next record I want to talk to you about. Gas Miasma. Thermo Barbarian. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that word. It's on Scramble Records. came out in 2014. It's a very nice, gateful. If you're not familiar with Gas Miasma, they are a U.S. based, highly distorted, highly visceral, enraged, raw, fucking mangle. Uh, it's actually kind of a super group. It consists of members, uh, I Hate God, Down, uh, fucking Violent Party. And several other bands uh, that I can't think of. Um, but, I mean, just look at that. Fucking Discharge Worship right there. Don't mistake it for an NSBM record because it is not. If you have an issue with leftist politics in your D beat, you probably want to steer away from gas miasma. In their case, though, I think it's all for an aesthetic. Fucking excellent. Um, honestly, probably one of the best U.S. hardcore releases, um, you know, in the DB realm that I can think of. Um, just again, super savage, super noisy. Um, think condition, absolute, paranoid. Gets me as most right in there, right in that circle, folks. Another good point of reference. Also another good point of reference. Chromosome. Eight songs EP. Chromosome. Are an Australian raw punk band. Um, they actually are somewhat of an international band. I believe they have members from... Indonesia as well. Custom labels. Uh, Chromosome first came to my attention because Southern Lord, during the midst of wanting to repress all these punk rock classics like Final Warning uh, and Government Issue, um, among others, uh, put together a discography for Chromosome, which at the time was actually a pretty fucking short discography. Um, they've got more material to their name now. Again, fantastic fucking stuff. Raw punk, DB, mangle, you name it. Paranoid, again, condition, absolute. I feel like they all exist within this circle of modern DB. Um, hoax again, as I said. Uh, Inferno, Nomad, Syndrome. Fucking fantastic stuff. Uh, you can add DOG to that list as well. Get in it. <laughs> Get in it. Get into it. Get into it. Just know it. Next record I'm going to talk to you about. Ah.
fucking hell crusher doomsday hour another profane existence scold release hell crusher came from the uk in fact they existed well into the 2000s the really nice gatefold you got lyrics some pretty sick artwork in the middle there as i said hell crusher were from the uk actually formed by Scotty and Al from Hell Bastard. Legendary UK band. You know, usually uttered in the same sentence as Deviated Instinct, Axe Grinder, fucking Amoebics, Prophecy of Doom, Sore Throat. Fantastic fucking stuff. Expect a lot of that with this Hell Crusher. Um, it's DB for sure, but it is a lot cleaner than what you're gonna get. If you're expecting like Japanese type DB or raw punk. Um, you know, this came out in '97, so the raw punk style, other than Disclose, hadn't really been explored that much. You could throw bands like Gloom in there and Confuse, of course, but they were all from Japan. Excellent record. Um, oddly, well, when at the time that I picked it up, hardly hard to come by. Um, maybe easier now. I don't know. I had to get that from overseas uh, a couple years back. Fucking excellent stuff. All time favorite for sure. I got two records left to show you. These are both kind of grails of mine. Um, first one actually came as a bit of VCLT from Mr. Pat Wilding um, a while back. This is a record I've been after for a very long time. I'm talking about <laughs> There's a note in there. NFC City Weapons. Like I said, I've been after this a long time. Gatefold record. This is on Feral Ward. Um, I want to say this is the second press. And I, like I said, again, to reiterate what I've already said like <laughs> twice probably. I've been after this a fucking long ass time. Um, I actually came across it a few times in the wild years back. Passed it up at the time um, just because there was other things that I was after and I thought, you know, I'd be able to grab it later. Well, when it came time to snag it, it had disappeared. And if you want to see how fucking rare and sparse this record is, uh, look at Discogs, man. In FC, if you don't know, are from Canada. That record came out in 2005 uh, and they play a type of DB that is motor punk for lack of a better word. Um, Motorhead inspired crust, man. Uh, definitely hear flourishes of discharge here and there, but mostly Motorhead. Shit just rocks and it's raucous. Um, fantastic record. One of my all-time favorites, for sure. Super glad that I've got it. And if for some weird reason you have not heard NFC, get on top of it. Because they're awesome. Um, it's really hard for me to like rationally put in words what something that I have such an attachment to sounds like without basically coming off like I'm gushing. Um, in this case, absolutely deserved really great fucking record. I don't know how many times I can say that, but <laughs> what about it? Get into it. And the last record I have to show you today. This actually came in last week. A record that I never thought I would actually have in my clutches. Um, at this point in my life. Um, it's a record I'm familiar with, well familiar with, 
Um, I've also got uh, another very hard to find record by this band. Um, and they're a band that, you know, I've had on my radar since way back. Um, fucking before I got into metal, really. Um, you know, when I first discovered Discharge and all their clones talking about black uniforms, faces of death. They're only proper full length. I've talked about black uniforms on this channel before. We've got Cliff who would go on to anti cymex Previously, moderate liquidation. Uh, we've got Lefty also anti cymex Who's also in the Perukers with Cliff, which is a cover band playing Discharge style. This record, man, that's the insert. I don't know, I don't know what to rationally say about this record other than it's fucking phenomenal. It is um, um, excellent, not just because it's so rare, um, but also because musically, they were doing something that a lot of bands in this category weren't really doing at the time, and that was paying homage to like horror movies and fucking you know trivial bullshit they avoided the politics that were so rampant in this genre back in the day um, and to give you kind of an idea of like the pedigree that they were coming from these guys appeared in an early issue of um, Slayer Mag um, number 5 if I'm not mistaken how I can just fucking retain that? I don't know. Um, it's so good though. You've got fucking tracks like City of the Dead, is obviously you no know, De Lucio Fulci. Of course, the reprise, City of the Dead 2. Another homage there. Uh, fucking Acid Punk, Uncut. Apparently, movie censorship was a big deal in Sweden around the late 80s when this came out. Horror movies getting chopped before put out for consumption. This is truly probably my biggest white wheel. Um, and I've got it. So, pretty happy about that. That's the last thing I have to show. Uh, I am just at 23 minutes. Good enough for me. Making these things shorter. Got a couple ideas milling around for uh, follow-ups, new next videos, but it, I don't know when the next one is going to come out. So I'm not going to even try and give you an idea of when to expect new content. Uh, but as usual, I want to say thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I'm at over 1,100 subscribers, which is crazy uh, to me that anybody wants to sit down and listen to my disjointed rambling for any duration of time but thanks I appreciate it um, as always peace out YouTube keep it real and shit <laughs>